What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, welcome back to another unboxing video! In this video we're going to be unboxing the 2018 April Lutaku box! I was a little bit behind on my Lutaku unboxings, but I am catching up. Catching up. Slowly but surely. If you are interested in getting this box, I will go and put all of the pricing details in the description below. This is one of the anime themed boxes that I have on my channel. I don't have too many of them, but I know I have a lot of anime fans out there, so I get this box for you guys. Friendly disclaimer though, I don't watch a lot of anime, so I might not know what's in here. Anyways, once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. How does it look? Is it anime? Is it super anime-ish? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. The first item we have is a Ban Presto item. I like when we get Ban Presto items. This is from One Piece and it's Girly Girls Reiju. Reiju? So there's different ones that we can get. Um, this is really like... Like, uh, I don't know what we would call it, but um, it's some kind of nurse that's it's like a sexy nurse staying on a chair. It looks like we got the sexy nurse wearing the light blue dress, but there is a variant of her wearing a pink dress. So that is really cool. I'm actually not going to open this, but these are, you guys know Ban Presto figures. They're very nice figures. They're very expensive. They have good value, and they usually come in different pieces that you put together. But we got a one-piece girly girls of Reiju, and we got the light blue version. So that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> the next time we got is an even bigger Ban Presto figure, and this is again from One Piece. It's Flag Diamond Ship Nico Robin. This one's even more like... I'm not gonna say raunchy, it's just, it's, I think, I mean, I think this is just part of anime, I would say, is that, you know, there's, there's, uh, girls who dress just very sexy, I guess. Let's go ahead and open this one, we'll see what this one looks like. I love, uh, Lutaku because they really give us a lot of Ben Presto items, and Ben Presto items are just very fancy and very cool. Oh, this is actually way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So, here is her legs and her body and... I don't know what this is. Maybe part of the stand. And it looks like this is her head. So let's take her head out. Her head is so small compared to how big her body is. Look at that. Her head seems so disproportional, you guys, to her body. I don't even, I don't get it. I don't get it. Now this one, I don't know what this brown thing is, but it looks like this one didn't come with a base, which is interesting because usually, Usually these figures come with a base, but let me just show you. Look how small her head is. Her head is very disproportionate to her body. Although on the camera it doesn't look as much, but when you see it in person, her head just looks a little bit small. So we have this. I like Ban Presto items because they're very detailed. I'm not a super huge fan of this one, obviously, but it, it's still cool because it's, you know, a Ban Presto figure. And if you like One Piece, then I feel like you would probably dig this. And it looks like this figure specifically just had the one variant. All right, next we have a metal poster. Oh, we just got one of these. It wasn't, was it from, it wasn't from Lutaka. I think it was in a different box. But this is a, a, a little metal poster. It's a Lutaka exclusive. I don't know, is this from One Piece as well? I feel like we are going on a One Piece theme thing. These must be new. They're from Displate. And it's basically like a metal thing. It comes with a little sticky thing so you can stick it on things. Or you can stick a metal or a magnet to it and you can put this on the fridge. And they're pretty cool. And they're like signed by, there's number, they're numbered and signed. I can't see what that number says, but I don't know. This must be a new thing that's coming out because we did, this is the second one that we've received recently. All right, the last time we have is this, which looks like, is it a blanket or, I think it's a blanket or, I don't know what this is actually. It's not a towel. I don't know what this is. It's very soft. I like the material. Maybe it's a floor mat. Can you guys see it? So this is what the design looks like. Is this from One Piece as well? I feel like it should be because that's what everything else is from. I don't know what this is though. It's like um maybe a small towel or it could be, it's not really a blanket size thing. It kind of reminds me of a blanket though. It could potentially be like a floor bath mat. I don't know, we might have to look at the recap card for that one because I don't really know. 
All right, that's all the items in the box. Let's gonna do some pricing and recap. The theme was Girls of One Piece. Okay, so all of these items were from One Piece and the theme was Girls of One Piece, so that is fitting. Okay, the first thing we have was our Sanji and Nami bath towel. Okay, so this is a bath towel. It's kind of a small bath towel. Like, I don't know to what extent you use this as a bath towel, maybe for just your hair, I suppose. I thought it might have been like a bath mat, like a bath towel mat. You know how those things work. But it's still nice and it's very soft. I would probably say that you could give this, mm, I guess you could probably give this like around $8, maybe $10. $10 seems kind of high. I would say $10 is probably the highest that you could give this. So should we do $10? Let's do $10. We'll do $10. We'll be nice. Give that $10. $10. Okay, next we had our flag diamond ship Nico Robin figure. This one's definitely like a little bit more, just more oomph than this one. So I'd probably say that this one you could probably give 30 to $35. I would say that this one, which was uh, Girly Girls Reju Vin Smoke, I think this one's a little bit less. You probably could give this one 20 to $25. So based off of all the pricing that I've done tonight with the other Lutaku boxes and Ben Presto figures, I would say that I would give this one 25 and I'd probably give this one, we'll, we'll stay on the low end and say 30, but you probably could give this one up to 35. And then we had our Displate Metal figure. Uh, it's a Lutaku exclusive. I don't remember how much I gave the other one that I got, but these are actually really cool. I do enjoy them, and I think you could give these anywhere from probably around 7 to $9, I would say, and $8 to me seems pretty legit, so I'm going to go ahead and give that $8. Okay, according to my price in this box, it was $73. Oh, that's weird. I'm pretty sure that's the same pricing I just got in the last box. Yep. So $13 extra value. Okay. So that's interesting. It got the same value that the other box got. Uh, based off their pricing, they said the Nico Robin figures, so that's the bigger Ban Presto figure, is worth $40. The Reju Ban Presto figure is worth $30. The towel was worth $15, and the metal print was worth $20. Okay. So my pricing is a little bit off with the Ban Presto figures. I don't really, I don't fully. Um, know the exact pricing of Van Presto figures, so you guys can help me out down below if you want to. I think that the metal print, $20 seems a little bit high for that, but I'm not really quite sure. It just depends. It is cool that it's numbered and signed, and it's a Lutaku exclusive, so I definitely think, I mean, 10 maybe, I think 10 maybe 12 but I wouldn't go any higher than that for what it is. If I had to rate this box, I think I would do very similar to, for me personally, I wasn't a huge fan of this box. I preferred last month and then the month before this, but it had good items in it. I still think that that value is lacking, the extra value is lacking. So I probably just, if I kept it kind of unbiased, I'd probably say a four to five noobs, just because I think that they need to include one more item to lift up the extra value to get us the $20 that we're looking for, minimum 20. But I like that they're giving us the Van Presto items. The towel is a little bit interesting, just cause I don't know for towel, like what you could actually use that for as a bath towel, but it's still like pretty cool. If I had to give my personal rating, I'd probably say this one was more of a 3.5 for me, just because I wasn't a huge fan of the actual like, just the themes of the items. Um, they've done this type of box before and I just prefer, I don't know what I prefer, but I'm not as much of a fan of when they give us figures of just like the women. It's just not my style. So, but you know, I think that this box is easily a four out of five noobs and I just hope that they can maybe include in the future. I think this box needs like five items to really bump it up just because it is a little bit more expensive. But like I said, this is one of the only boxes that actually gives us Ban Presto figures. And so I think that definitely increases the value a little bit. And like I said, if you want to price them differently you can. It just depends. Alright guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe! Let me know down below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? Um, I, I think this is going to be the third unboxing video that I uh, hopefully recently just posted because I'm a little bit behind. But out of the three Lutaku boxes, which one was your favorite and what did you think about this one? Like, what are your thoughts? Just let me know down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or sent to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is going to go to Renner 
Pasquale. I don't know if I'm saying your first name right. Renner Pasquale, you get the video chat. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I really, really hope one day that I get to meet you in person. I think that would be really cool. So hopefully one day it'll happen. But until then, Renner, I want to give you the video shout out. Shout out to you, Renner Pasquale. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.